This is Thor. Welcome to the Dragon Ship. So it's been a minute since I put any content out for you guys. Had a little bit of eye surgery. Uh, full disclosure, it's why the reason I'm wearing glasses. But uh, had a little infection, had to correct some dissymmetry. And as you can see now, all healed up. I got a little bit of a googly eye here. But uh, other than that, it's quite all right. We're going to talk about something very basic today. I wanted to bring you guys some uh, information that um, I've been asked for for quite a while, and I kind of codified a general list from some notes that I had that uh, many men struggle with, and I just wanted to offer some tips. Some tips on... Um... Well, I've been asked, so Thor, how do I do better in social circumstances? <clears throat> how do I create a presence? How do I make it known that I am a dominant male in any environment I go into that will create attraction. So I put together a list on how, very basic list, on how to develop and achieve a dominant masculine presence. And this is going to sound very basic, but it's very much fundamental as you develop your social acuity and being attractive and being able to network and uh, when I say attractive, not only to uh, women, but to men as well, business partners, how do you do that? Uh, these are personality traits. Uh, when you talk about dominant masculine presence, they're personality traits that are not necessarily natural. It's body language. It's how you speak. It's how you look. It's how you dress. It's many, many different things. So I boiled this into a very, very basic list that I want to convey. And doing these things slowly over time will help you build a considerable amount of confidence. Now, I must give you somewhat of a warning. If you take all of these uh, items, these traits that I've listed out here, and you do them all at once, you're going to be in a little bit of a boat to where you're going to look like kind of like a puffed up douchebag when you're out in public. So if you haven't done these before, I suggest that you pick one or two and work on them slowly and slowly develop your own style in creating a dominant masculine presence that's attractive to the others. So, like I've said, these are not necessarily natural, but they must be worked on in practice uh, so that it becomes a competent part of your personality. And honestly, it'll work well in almost any social environment. Working on practicing these traits on the basic list is what I'm saying again is just don't overdo it. Just take one or two items and then after you've done this socially, evaluate them. Evaluate kind of on a score on how well you did. Did it do well? Did I embarrass myself? Did I recover? How did people receive me when I uh, perform these traits and use these body languages? Now, any man that's been alive that's talked to women has heard from time to time when women give men advice, just be yourself. Well, they don't know what that really means, but what it really does mean can't really be put into words. But when you put these dominant masculine traits together, you create a presence. That is what they want when they say be yourself. It's being a man and leading the environment that you're in. Extremely attractive. So, you know, look at yourself as an actor would in a mirror and perform some of these simple body language moves and until they're very much second nature to you. Um, everybody knows the guy that comes into the room, puffs his chest out, his eyes are wide like this, and he's just a douche. Don't be that guy, be very, very subtle. It works. Women are excellent at subcommunication. So let's get started on this list. And I'm gonna share it with you now. It's very simple. It'll be very, very quick. Get a pen and paper out and let's talk about it. Okay, so before you even start the list, Rule zero here is self-care. Always be the present the be absolute best of you at all times. Hair, beard, jewelry, clothing, whatever it is about you, it always is going to be presented at all times. The next thing when you do this, get the mindset that you're the hero of your own movie. And as you operate this earth suit or this avatar, you're the lead character. You're not a non-player character or an extra. Put that in your mind. Now, let's get to the list. Number one, 
take up space, but don't be too obvious. What do I mean by taking up space? Uh, it's more of a natural thing when you watch a leader, no matter how tall they are, when they walk in the room, they take up space. They don't get in people's space, but they take up space. They walk around the room. They see everybody present. They acknowledge the presence. They don't run to the corner of the room and hide out. Say it's a club. You run over that table and you hide out. That's really not taking up space. We're not talking about challenging people. We're talking about just taking up the space that you're in. Touch people more. Now, you got to do this strategically. Watch leaders. Watch how they shake hands. Uh, in my mastermind course, I teach people how to shake hands, believe it or not, so that you can project power and you can not project weakness. Uh, once again, if you guys uh, look at the ticker, you can uh, sign up uh, for one of my uh, mastermind uh, Zoom calls. We do this every month on a second Tuesday. It's a really good deal for coaching. Uh, and we help guys in all aspects of life and hold each other accountable. So we talk about things exactly like this. So run over to Gumroad, sign up for that. You're going to get a lot more of it. So you're going to touch people more. You're going to do Kino when you're speaking with a woman and you're smiling. There's going to be touches to the elbow, to the wrist, a little pat on the shoulder, coming close, lower back. Things that are not obvious, but you are in command, once again, of the space. Number three, don't inconvenience yourself. Never inconvenience yourself in public. You want to control your environment? Don't be inconvenienced. I don't know how else to say that. Don't bend over backwards to do things. You might think that bending over backwards. Now, we're not talking about just being polite. Being polite is one thing. But inconvenience yourself. If you have to jump up from one side of the room... To go to the other side of the room just to pull a, a chair out for a woman, you really kind of inconvenience yourself. However, just so you understand the subtlety, if you're sitting right across the table and you see it happening and, you ha and you're not inconvenient yourself to do so, then you can do something like that. Okay? Just an example. Now, keep your gaze up. You want your gaze slightly up. Don't look down. Now, this is different in different cultures. Some cultures show respect by looking down but in a western culture masculinity look up don't look down don't avoid eye contact don't hold it but slowly redirect your gaze as if you're reacting because you know what's going on around you make yourself very comfortable in every space that you're in that's number five number six keep an open body language you don't have to be closed off hands in your pockets never don't do that okay no shoulders forward. Make yourself very comfortable. Comfortable in the chair. That doesn't mean slouch, but be comfortable, yet hold your posture. Um, own yourself. Own the space that you're around and project. It's subtle, but you need to do it. Uh, keeping that relaxed body language is important. If you're tense in any way, if, you're, if you tend to do this with your forehead, look in the mirror, practice. Don't do it. You can use this to make points, but don't always hold you know, in women, sometimes we call it resting bitch face where, you know, the lips are upturned and it's just kind of looking like that. Don't be the guy that has that resting douchebag face. You don't have to. And you can still own your environment. Maintain good posture. Walk with purpose. Don't stumble around. Don't look confused. Find out where you're going. Walk with the purpose. That doesn't mean run. Just walk with purpose. You can see this. You can see this in leaders that are they're, they're walking. They're doing what they need to do. They walk back. Even if they're observing things around the room, it's basically shoulders up, suck your gut in, look where you're going, scan the room slowly. And then here's another one that's really important. In our society, when you're agreeing with a person or you're talking with people, nod up. So if I'm acknowledging somebody, this is my nod. Watch next time when you see leaders and they're speaking to the crowd. They'll nod up. Mm -hmm. They're not doing this. Nodding down. Always nod up. Head and shoulders up. Suck your gut in. Your feet should always be shoulder width apart just in case there's action. You don't want to sit there with your legs crossed while you're standing. A very feminine posture. Don't do that. You don't want your feet together. Don't be awkward. That's awkward and it socially it shows that you're not ready for anything. Okay? Another thing, don't appear to be emotional. This goes back to squinching your face or reaction. Somebody talking, you're going, oh, 
wow. We don't need to be over emotional. That shows weakness and it's reactionary and it's going to be unattractive over time. We all know somebody that we're in a social environment. We may even like them, but everything you say is a, oh my God, really? Oh, I can't believe that. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. You're not that guy. Don't do that. That's not going to help you in the circumstance. And it certainly won't let you express dominant masculine presence. Here's one that's very important. Lower your voice. Speak with purpose. Be positive. Be in control of the language you use. Use your man voice. Lower it. Use your man voice. That does not mean shout. No. It does not mean when you're engaged in a debate to raise your voice or raise the tone. As you lower it, you're actually in control. This is very attractive to the opposite sex. And men will strain to listen to you. And always smile slightly and take an assessment of every area you're in, the people, the personalities, who's who in the zoo, ask fun and personable and enjoyable questions. A subtle smile as you're walking through and acknowledging. All right. Very important. It expresses your power, and yet you still have a positivity and you're likable. These are important things. <clears throat> be aware of everything that's around you, but be subtly slow to fix your gaze during conversation. You don't want a set of eyes that are doing this when there's two or three people that you're talking with. No, you want to be able to listen and be a good listener. And as you listen from one to the next, take your gaze and be slow to fix your gaze on a single eye. Don't leave it too long and you can move it to the next one. This is body language at the next level. This shows importance and that you can you know, you're showing an extreme amount of attention. It's very masculine. Not everybody's going to tell you this is very subtle. Uh, women very much pick up on these sort of things. Men do as well. It's part of the pecking order. Watch and be an observer of human behavior. Present or project high personal value coupled with genuine humility. What does this mean? Uh, certainly, it's not self-deprecation. We're not going to be self-depreciating in any way. We are not going to boast in any way when we're in public or we're socializing. What we do is we allow for discovery of our true value and our skill set. We allow for discovery. So as it comes up in conversation, you can say, yeah, I might have done that a time or two. When they ask what, and then you can reveal the actual level of skill and experience that you have that is so impressive and attractive to not only men, but women, extremely so. Allow them the chance to find discovery with you. You are not the guy that boasts in, yeah, I've had six Lamborghinis. I've done this. I've done that. You know what? I know Myron Gaines. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know Kevin Samuels. I've done this. I've done that. I've been on the Internet. Those guys are extremely low value. They're name dropping. You don't need none of that shit. If you're going to be a masculine dominant male that's in control of a situation, you really don't care who you've met because it's not who you've met. In my case, it's that they met Thor or that they met you, who is the hero of your own movie. And that's what really counts. Do not apologize. Don't ever apologize unless you openly made a direct mistake. Then simply just say, Mistakes were made. I accept accountability and responsibility to make it right. And then do so. No more than that. That's enough. Be thoughtful. But appear stoic in nature. That means you're not reactionary. When you're engaged, nobody can touch your button and get their reaction. It's super important because you're the rock. That is incredible. Incredibly masculine. If somebody can just rub your button because you had a beer or two and rub it and just the right away, hey, Thor, you're such an F-A-G. And I react, come on, man. I know who I am. Psh, really? All right. So don't be that guy. And then when you're spoken to, listen, always take a brief moment to think before you speak. So a good rule of thumb on here is repeat the question or statement you just heard to yourself in your head. 
pause for a moment and then speak. This carries far more power and it gives you a chance to actually think about what you're going to say. Whether than allow that feeling, because everybody has feelings, right? I feel like, I feel like. You know how stupid it sounds when somebody answers a statement or, or makes a monologue on a statement because they feel like? How about listening to it, gauging it in the greater reality, and then answering with a very reasonable answer? That makes you look intelligent, in control, quite masculine, and control your environment. Much more impressive. So, allow nobody to push your buttons. If you even get close to somebody pushing your buttons in a social environment, this is number 20, it's the last one, it doesn't matter where you're at. Even if they embarrass you, they want to back up, what's up, what's up, what's up with that? They're trying to push your button. Look, you're, they're not that important. Just walk away. It's easy. There's always another day. You're more important than any of that other bullshit. And that is the 20 dominant masculine traits that you can project to create a presence and to increase your attractiveness now now that i've said all of that go out there with one or two and practice it it shouldn't be too hard um and just to let everybody know i'm glad to be back putting out some uh content you can see here that i posted uh some of the products that are coming available on july 13th is the Dragon Ship Mastermind Monthly Zoom, where you're going to get a monthly Zoom call for a couple hours on the second Tuesday of every month with Thor. And Thor's experience at 58 years old, plus special guests. And the idea behind it is you climb aboard the Dragon Ship as all-male mastermind group, and you're going to leverage each other's experiences and knowledge and skill set so that you can become a better version of yourself. It's very private. Uh, it's not exposed to the public, and each man has many things to work on. And together, we're going to set sail on that dragon ship and become far greater than we were apart. So please join me. It's very reasonable. The monthly fee is $45. If you buy in three-month increments, it's $100. You cannot get coaching from anybody else on the Internet that has more experience. I've been around 58 years. I'm one of the oldest guys out there, and I bring in some of the top names of special guests to discuss specific items with the men, but it's really about the men that join that want to become better. It's an accountability mastermind group. Please come and check that out. Uh, you can check it out on my website, which is becomedurable.com. You'll also notice that I've changed my YouTube. As I create more and more content, Thor is now becomedurable.com. I am now also RP Thor on Instagram. So become durable, I think, really expresses what I'm all about. And that's about teaching men to become much more durable versions of themselves. Not cry baby little whiny bags, but men that can actually stand the test of time and succeed regardless of the amount of failures that they've had and excuses that they've broadcast. We get rid of those and we just become durable. That's what really counts. So come and subscribe to me on my new YouTube channel, Thor's Dragon Ship, at The Dragon Ship. Also, we're coming up on uh, the end of the month here in June. And uh, I want to take you just for a moment to my website. So we're going to share. We're going to share the screen right now. And here we go. So guys, take a look here. This has become durable. It's now up and running. This is the website that I'd like you guys to go to. I have some courses coming up. There's definitely coaching and performance life counseling available here uh, for it, all of your needs from fitness, nutrition, uh, older men's working out, injury avoidance, relationships, long-term relationships. I've been in a 28 year marriage myself, had all the ups and downs. And uh, working with several others, we now uh, are offering a durable, sustainable, long-term relationship training course. Uh, it will be available to purchase starting June 28th through July 3rd. It's $497. You're going to receive 10 hours of individualized training via lecture and over 200 slides with references 
on how you can get the girlfriend or girlfriend of your dreams, keep her forever. That's right. You can have a relationship that you want. It will seem effortless, but you understand that there's going to be ups and downs and how you will stay interested and how to keep her interested and how to subvert her hypergamous nature so that she's very happy just to be with you. So I encourage you all to go and look at that and take a look by clicking on the uh, buttons that I have on becomedurable.com. This will take you to the gum road. And right here, you'll see a photo of how you should place a woman above you. The only way, actually. And um, it'll describe the entire course to you right here. So not only are you going to learn uh, how to project dominant masculine energy, but you're going to be able to do that in your long-term relationship. And she's not even going to know it. This is an all-male course. And not only is she not going to know it, she's going to be extremely attracted to you over the course of time. And when things start to get slow in the bedroom, you're going to have all the techniques and tools for which to turn it around. And for those of you out there that are struggling with your marriage, you have a dead bedroom and it's on collapse. This is something you really need now. This is the most comprehensive course out there that you can find. That's going to describe dread game and how to use it to your advantage, not only to improve yourself, but to improve the life of your loved one and your, your wife. And by doing that, you're going to improve your family life. You're going to improve your future. Uh, yes, it's not easy. There's no easy pills here. You're going to have to do the work. But if you don't even know where to start, it's hopeless. You might as well throw it away. But if you're on your last legs, you can sit there and be the hero of your own movie and you can get that sex back into the bedroom to where it is normalized and it's the best you ever had. It is not hopeless until the day she walks out that door. So fix that shit. Get in here and learn how to take care of your long-term relationships. Not everybody is designed to be a player. I understand that. Um, so come and join me for this course. And uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, we'll be offering at least a couple of free webinars before we close the course. The course starts on July 5th. It starts at 5 uh, Pacific Daylight Standard Time. And each uh, lecture will last two hours and have an hour of Q&A afterwards. Um, just so that we can show you what the course is looking like. Let's see if we can open up the very first page. You're going to get some really interesting stuff. You're going to get an analysis tool that you can use for any relationship at any time. Um, it's very important. And it's talking about added values. These are behaviors that occur in every relationship boiled down into a yes or no question that's going to place you on a spectrum of what you need to take action on. Some of them are very simple. Some of them are very complex. Some of, them, some of them are about added liabilities. These are not good things to be observing in a relationship, such as if she's contemptuous or argumentative all the time. These are things you want to address. It's easy for us to become complacent and not do these things. I am the only one that has an analysis like this can actually go beyond red flags. Uh, you could actually use this with a current relationship that you have to improve it. Who doesn't want to improve a relationship at any time? Please come and check this out. This will be given to you, and uh, we will be starting that course with those analysis tools. And right from there, uh, we'll get right into it. And just to give you a brief overview of day one, I'm going to quickly scan through what this is going to look like. You're going to have, in this particular one, there's 30 slides, and there's some homework to do. And uh, there you go. That's just a picture of some of the modules here. Being on your game. Also, we spend an entire module in the session about sex and how, why it is so important in a long-term relationship. And then we also discuss alternative lifestyles for those that are non-monogamous. So there's plenty of pitfalls and pluses to that as well. Um, Good enough. Let's get back to where we were at. I appreciate everybody joining me and being patient. I'm hoping to produce some more 
content for you guys on the dragon ship and get some fantastic guests i have some lined up be patient with that uh we're going to be hitting some of the other shows real quick here and uh offering offering more services so if you get the chance go over to become durable.com sign up at uh, become durable.com and make sure you get on the email list so that when the course becomes available for launch that you're notified if you're not notified then you won't know and we're going to start that course and we're going to roll so uh i want you guys to be able to do that with that thanks for joining the dragon ship until next time, Skull. <laughs>